This is Jay with Triathlete Magazine at TriFest 2009. Here with Chris with Shimano. TT version is uh, probably going to be here around uh, the Coeur d'Alene Triathlon, so we're looking in about June. Cool thing about the electronic Dura stuff is basically what we've got is we've got no cable issues with the bike anymore. What happens is there's no cable friction, there's no cable stretch. Uh, basically, you kind of set it and forget it, to be honest with you. Once it's set up, there's really no reason to mess with it. Setup is super easy. Um, it's just going to shift crisp. It's going to shift fast all the time. I actually had a chance to ride this. Um, explain the shifting in the front. It actually overshifts a bit and then resets down. Well, basically what it does is, is you know, a common problem on bikes is when you're doing real cross-chaining and, and some big hammer shifts, what happens is the front derailleur is so powerful in bikes anymore that it wants to throw the chain off the outside of the bike or throw it down to the inside of the bike. So what the new DI2 does is it'll shift the chain, allow it to drop, and then it'll trim the front derailleur so you don't get any kind of cage rub. So as you move up and down the cassette, which I can actually show you if you can get the camera in here, but basically what it does is during regular shifts, it automatically trims the front derailleur for you. So there is no real trim feature in this other than it doing it automatically. What's the uh, battery life going to be on, on the battery? Battery life is minimum of 1,000 miles. Uh, they're getting even more, but we're just saying conservatively uh, 1,000 miles. And basically what happens is, is you've got a battery indicator light here that will kind of show you exactly how much battery life you have. So that is basically telling us that we have a full charge. It'll start blinking green when it goes to uh, 75%, 50% it goes red, uh, and blinks at about 25 or 10%. And basically at that point, you know, you, know, you probably should have charged your battery. And then uh, explain the, uh, the TT shifters as far as um, they've got a unique feature where you can actually shift at the brakes as well as at the, uh, at the shift end. Well, both on the road stuff and eventually on the TT stuff, all of the actual shifters have two shift points. So what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to run a remote shifter from somewhere. So on a TT bike and the tri application, it's going to be fantastic because you're going to be able to have the ability to brake and to shift. I'm sorry I don't have a lever here, but basically what you've got is you're going to have a lever with a little extra area that's going to have two buttons, you know, your upshift and your downshift and then it'll have a remote access where you'll be able to shift out on the clampons as well. So you've got the safety and security if you get in a, like some of the tri courses, you know, they can get a little technical. And um, so what this is gonna give you is it's gonna give you the ability to be able to shift and to break coming in and out of corners in some of the technical sections.